guys welcome back to my channel so the other week I had my baby shower um, probably a little bit earlier than when most people have their baby shower but um we just didn't want to like get stuck between like possibly me going on bed rest and or having the babies early so we just decided for our earlier baby shower to get everything ready and done so I'm gonna do a quick little baby haul for you I know that I have twins and it's a lot of stuff to go through so I'm gonna kind of go quickly so far in our nursery we have our cribs up and we just got our dresser up the other day um, so now I'm ready to go through all this stuff show it to you guys then get the clothes washed and everything put away so then we're done and all we have to do is just sit and wait for the babies bear with me I'm super out of breath I always watch these shower hauls and also people like later on in their pregnancies and everyone always like ran out of breath and I always wondered like I mean I get it but like really like you run out of breath that easy totally run out of breath super easy um, just sitting down I ran out of breath okay, so let's just jump right into it I'm basically just gonna start and then push everything that way um, so my baby shower was thrown by my aunt and my cousins they are super creative as you can see right here um, and I'll put in a picture too these boxes spell out twins which I saw at the baby shower and I was like oh super cute um, because during our gender reveal as you saw in the video it, we put Ezekiel twins these my aunt actually wrapped diapers and wipes and everything so when they were bringing these out to my car I was like um I don't need empty boxes and they were like no these are diapers and wipes and I was like oh my gosh so super set on diapers and wipes she also did a diaper raffle for me, so we have tons of diapers. We already put them downstairs in storage, um, like the sizes that we won't, we won't need right away and everything, but literally boxes and boxes of diapers. My aunt also made these super adorable diaper cakes. She made two big ones and two little ones, and I cannot bring myself to take them apart. But she did so many creative things for me. First of all, she put together these cute little bins they got elephants on them the inside is just a bunch of diapers and bath toys she also got me some nubby teething rings there's dr. Seuss books in here some socks and some nooks or pacifiers got some Johnson and Johnson soap some swaddle blankets and burp cloths and then gotta have your butt paste if it'll focus there we go and then just a grooming kit she got me two of these um, just because she's a nurse um, so she like germs you know she said she recommends that I don't have them share like just like the nasal aspirators and stuff like that so got two of those so that's that bin and then kind of the same thing going on in this bin as well okay hang on let me take this off this is itchy okay Another thing we got was these booster chairs. So I registered for two of them and I got both of them because me and Troy are opting for boosters as opposed to getting um, a high chair. Just because I feel like these are a little bit smaller and more compact as opposed to like a high chair where I have to fold and like find storage for. My mom always had high chairs but she put them in a closet and we just like don't have that kind of space to tuck in into a closet like none of our closets they're all like kind of weird and small so there's those so another thing that my aunt did for me was they did a onesie decorating station so I'll just quick show you a couple of the onesies so my nie my niece Cecilia she colored on a couple of them for me so she'll be excited to see the boys wear these ones 
buy one, get one free. <laughs> she had stencils, so it was a lot easier for everybody to like write and use things. Um, my cousin made this one. It has a little elephant, because as you guys know, I love elephants. And then it has a little elephant tail on it. There's that one. Get milk or cry trying. My coworker made that one. I thought that was so adorable. And then there's that one. So, some of you may know, some of you may not know, but we already actually have twins in the family. We have a bunch of twins in the family, both on Troy's side and on my side. Um, but my twin cousins, they came, they're girls. They're also fraternal, but they made these ones. These are, this is my favorite ones. These are so cute. They're definitely gonna wear these. It says twin um, with just like the little matching hearts, but I thought those were so adorable. Then this is my little name teaser for you guys. You guys can guess. Of course, um, my mother knows the names and she had to do a little teaser. So these are our teasers for you guys. One starts with a D and one starts with a B. So start your guesses now. She just couldn't resist. She said, can I put their names on the onesies? And I said, no, because Troy and I aren't going to announce the names until we give birth. I'm just doing that more specifically just because I, I don't want to have all these personalized things. I am going to put their names above their cribs, but the, even those things I'm not going to order until we are home with them in the hospital and stuff. A lot of that has to do with just like having had, had a miscarriage and pregnancies are already high or pregnancies are high risk but twin pregnancies are even more high risk so i'm just kind of you know i don't want to have to put anything away that i didn't i wasn't able to use another thing that my aunt did was she has this basket of things and we did the prices right i actually won um with the, the closest guess on price and stuff but these are just a couple of the things some matching bibs, more elephants, they're just hooded towels, some teething rings, some washcloths, muslin swaddle blankets, bottle brushes, the security, um, like you put them in the light sockets, whatever they're called, secure press plug protectors. I got some white some socks, some little rattle toys that look like elephants, a baby bum brush that my cousin said, her husband said that she had to get this for Troy. Another thing that my cousin said she had to, she had to get me was these, what are they called, Oogie Bear? And basically it's to get like their little boogies out and also to get like earwax out, I guess. She said she loves them and they're actually kind of expensive. They're like 20, I think she said 22 or $23. And there's only these two in here, um, which is like an insane price. So I super appreciate her for getting those for me. More Johnson & Johnson head and body soap. And then the laughing joke throughout the whole party was so, Probably not until maybe I hit middle school. I don't know. I just became kind of a problem child and I was allergic to the world. Like, I couldn't change my soaps. I couldn't change my conditioners, shampoos. My mom couldn't change up our laundry detergent because I would always break out in hives. And, like, I would constantly go to school with, like, fat lips and, like, sometimes my eyes would swell up and, like, just random. So, <laughs> they got me the Drift Soap and then also with those wipes, they're sensitive wipes and most everybody got me sensitive wipes um, and just, like, other things that just were, like, for sensitive skin. You know, Johnson & Johnson so for sensitive skin and then everyone kept being like because we know your babies are gonna be just like you and probably be allergic to the world so that was kind of the laughing joke of the whole night we also got a boppy pillow and then a cover for it of course with elephants um my cousin also gave me her boppy pillow 
uh i just wanted another one so like troy it, like could have something too in case we're feeding at the same time um which a lot of people are telling me that i most likely won't i have no idea how it works with twins i know that there's a double boppy um but i just didn't i don't know i just didn't want this big giant pillow like laying around because i already have my pregnancy pillow that's already a big giant pillow that like when we're done with all of this i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do with <laughs> we got some bibs with of course elephants and stuff on it some little rings to put on their car seats a window protector we got more hooded towels with elephants and stuff on it as well more swaddles with elephants on it that's another thing that Troy said are we gonna just have elephants for everything and I said yeah that's pretty much gonna be the theme a pretty uh, nursing scarf it's a four-in-one nursing scarf so it can go on the cart I can nurse with it it can go on the car seat and then obviously I can just wear it as a scarf when and then use it when I need it so one thing that I got from my sister was just a lot of like nursing things formula storage bags and nursing pads nipple cream and desitin and then just like boogie wipes and then this is the Avino baby so light scented for sensitive skin <laughs> I got that and then she also gave me so she's my one sister who already had she has my my niece Cecilia so she's the only one in the family who's had a baby um, so she got me dry shampoo that actually has a hint of color in it um, she's the one who did my hair for prom and for the wedding and everything so she always had her hair really nice while she was pregnant and even after when she was pregnant me I just shower and I'm done for the day but um she gave me this for she said for when my hair falls out which is okay <laughs> so can't wait for that magic to happen um, got a curious George book then from my other sister always can expect anything hair anything and everything Harry Potter there's that one and then that one then she knows that I love pineapples so she bought matching little pineapple shorts so I just have to find a top to match them the other thing that I can always expect from her is Christmas she loves Christmas she has three Christmas trees during Christmas time so she got me some bibs and socks and then matching little onesies that say forever loved by auntie and then no mistletoe needed and then I ate Santa's cookies hashtag no regrets and then I don't know if you can see it but in the butt there's like a little gingerbread <laughs> a little gingerbread cookie so yeah anything Christmas or Disney I'm surprised I actually didn't get anything Disney from her um, I can always expect that and Harry Potter stuff I can always expect from her as well and then I just got some cute little socks. I got these cute little matching outfits. They go with these. But it says, let's see if I can hold it up next to each other. So I have a Dachshund um, Australian Shepherd mix. But it says best friends and it's a Dachshund. <laughs> My mom found those for me. So those were adorable. Also for the theme of the nursery, I'm going back and forth. A lot of things I found were more of like that gray, um, like gray with arrows kind of thing. But I also really love um, like the like the palm leaf kind of jungly theme. But then we also have a lot of elephants. So me, I was telling Troy, I said maybe we'll have like a jungle elephant theme that's like gray white and green I don't know I have to figure it out because I just I'm all over the place got elephant web nubs elephant blankets my aunt made um, they're giant but I lay them down on the floor I'm not gonna take it all out but I lay it down on the floor and this is what they'll do like tummy time on and stuff so and they're so soft 
These things are from my mother. She, <laughs> she picked me up holiday clothes. So what I mean by holiday clothes is basically, this is what they'll wear for Christmas. It's just little fleece um, um, pajamas. Then she got July 4th covered. It says we're twins. St. Patty's Day. Just a Spider-Man with a shamrock in the back. Mr. Lucky. Here's Easter with the little Easter bottoms. Another Easter. And then this one comes with little Easter bottom. Grandma's Prince Charming. Living the good life with Grandpa. I think these were supposed to be the ones that they wear during the summer when we go camping. My battery died and something happened to some of the footage of the holiday outfits that my mom gave me. So I'm just gonna do the ones that we missed. Um, she got matching Halloween skeleton ones. Then for Valentine's Day, Mom's Little Stud Muffin, Cupid's Wingman, and then for Thanksgiving, there aren't really any Thanksgiving outfits she said she saw, but she got ones that were hats with little bibs and then little matching socks for them. My first Thanksgiving. Then they got little matching security blankets. We got these cute little dinosaur jammies. It's a three pack and then it comes with matching hats. Look at this one. It has little spikies on it. Then one thing that my sister found me and then my mom's best friend found another one was these. Hello baby. Let's sing together. Do you use hang slow? Do they How cute is that? And then if you do the other foot. Hello, baby. Peekaboo is most fun with you. Hmm. Where'd you go? Peekaboo. I found you. <gasps> so adorable. <laughs> so um, they're super soft. I got two of them. There's another one in here. So they each get their own, but they're super soft, and I love how it's not like loud and obnoxious. It's just it's like very it's like a soft voice that they use so it's not like frightening and scary um, I always try to be really nice to other parents that I buy things for I try not to get the I mean like music and noise is good for babies I know that but I try not to get like the super obnoxious things because as a parent those are so agitating <laughs> you know what I mean so I love these these are so adorable we got a carrier this is actually one that Troy picked out um, I prefer to just kind of push in strollers and or hold, which may be kind of, I don't know, um, unrealistic. I don't know if that's the word to use, but he wants to carry our babies around. So he requested one of these, so we only got one. Fragrant free wipes, teething rings, and we got some bottles. We got more fitted crib sheets that are this color which is perfect matching um, sleep sacks and that's pretty much everything that I got um, we got a couple big things we got a walker we got a swing we got a, a tummy time little jungle gym thing those are just like not in the room with me right now and then I got a whole bunch of other things from my cousin so my cousin has a little boy as well all his clothes that he doesn't fit anymore I got from her she gave me a changing table. What else did she give me? She gave me um, the little play saucer. Her friend gave me a bassinet um, and another swing. So I got two swings. I'm, I was trying my best not to get doubles of everything because they don't always need to be doing the same thing. Like they don't always both need to be in a swing and they don't always both need to be in a saucer. So I kind of like was just still trying to get one of everything instead of getting two of everything just to like relieve space and clutter me and troy are set with these boys we're set for clothes we're set for diapers and wipes and everything 
Okay, you guys, that's all for my video today of my baby shower haul. I tried to make it quick. Coming up in my next videos, I will be explaining my wristband and my iron issues. Um, I took my glucose test and I will have the results for that for you in the next video. And also I have pups and have a, a whole bunch of updates to give you in the next video as well. I'm super sorry for all the delay in just the pregnancy updates and everything in general. I totally intended on bringing you along with this whole journey. Um, but pregnancy sickness and all of that stuff just hit me way more than I thought it would and just zero motivation. Like I give props to all the moms out there and all the pregnant people who film and record every day and put up videos because this has been a big long journey. As you can see right now I'm actually 29 weeks um, and a lot of my tiredness has to do with the fact that I am iron deficient. So again, I'll explain that in the next video, but that had a lot to do, that was a big factor. So that's all I have for you guys in this video, but I will see you in the next one. Bye.